this question, it says figure one shows us a curve with equation y is equal to 2x subtract uh, the natural logarithm, uh, 3 times the natural logarithm of 2x add 5, and the, norm, and the normal to the curve at the point uh, negative 2, negative 4p. Okay, so this is the normal to the curve here at the point P. So at the point P, this here is the normal to the curve. Let's just draw the tangent in for the sake that the tangent would look something like that. Okay, so that would be the tangent and that's the normal to the curve. And it asks us to find the equation of the normal to the curve at P. Well, in order to do that, we're going to differentiate, find the gradient of the tangent, use that to find the gradient of the normal, and hopefully we know the point P. And we do, the point P is negative 2, negative 4. So let's get on with doing that. So firstly, uh, our function for part A is y is equal to uh, 2x subtract 3 times a lateral logarithm of 2x add 5. And we're going to want, we want to find the gradient of the normal to this. So we do dy by dx. We take, uh, we differentiate both sides. dy by dx is going to be 2 subtract. Now, you could almost forget about the 3 being there for now. Let's just differentiate this. The differential of a, of a log, if y is equal to the natural logarithm of a function of x, then dy by dx is going to be the differential of the function of x divided by the original function of x. So this here would be 2 over 2x add 5. But don't forget we had a 3 here, so therefore the 3 just ends up on top like that. So therefore dy by dx tidying up is going to be equal to 2 subtract 6 over 2x add 5. Now we want dy of dx at a point, we want dy of dx at x is negative 2, y is negative 4. So we've got this in, in terms of x, so dy of dx when x is equal to uh, negative 2. We substitute that in, so that's 2 subtract 6 over 2 multiplied by negative 2 add 5. Well this is negative 4, add 5 is going to be 1, so 6 over 1. 6, 2 take away 6 is negative 4. Okay, and uh, you'd be done at that point. So that's the gradient of the of the um, tangent. So therefore the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of this, which is going to be a quarter. So using your y minus y1 is m x subtract x1 um, and the points are negative 4, negative 2, you'd have y subtract negative 4 is equal to a quarter x subtract negative 2 as follows. So y add 4 would be a quarter x add 2 and you can multiply up by 4. So 4y add 16 is going to be equal to x add 2 and does it ask us in a specific form? It doesn't ask us in a specific form but we could make this side 0 and say that x take away 4y take away uh, 14 is equal to 0, like that. Now just at this point we might want to check this is correct. Because I might actually check my gradient was correct. So here was my original function. I could get my calculator to differentiate my original function which was 2x subtract 3, uh, the natural logarithm of um, 2x add 5 as follows and I could substitute in x is was negative 2 and I get negative 4 here just like I got in this. So this gives me absolute comfort that I got the right gradient of the tangent and now I know the gradient of the normal so that seems like I've done it correctly. Up for part b it says the normal to the curve at p so this normal line here crosses the curve again at q i.e. here Show that the x-coordinate of q lies between 1 and, and, and that is, it has x-coordinate q. Show that q lies between 1 and 2. So what we're trying to solve, we're trying to solve where the normal equals the uh, original curve function. So let's call my original curve function y is equal to um, 2x 
subtract 3 natural logarithm of 2x add 5. That was my original function. And my normal is this one here. Let me just write this as y, the subject of the formula. So 4y would be equal to x take away 14. So therefore y would be a quarter x take away 14 like that. So y is equal to a quarter x take away 14. Now we're trying to solve where these two things are equal to each other. Okay, so we're trying to solve where this is equal to this. So we're trying to solve where 2x subtract 3, uh, natural logarithm of 2x add 5 is equal to a quarter x take away 14, i.e. where they intersect. Now, if I take this off both sides and define a new function, let's call it g of x, to be equal to 2x subtract 3, natural logarithm of 2x add 5, take away a quarter, x take away 14, like that. So if I take this one away from this function, and I look for a change in sign in this, so if I can find an x that makes this positive and an x that makes this negative close to each other, and given this is continuous, it will show that this is equal to zero between that. So this, are, these two functions are equal to each other between that interval. Now it's given us the interval. It tells us to check the interval between one and two. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in g of 1. So I get the calculator out, and what I can do is I can define the function to be 2x subtract 3 natural logarithm of 2x add 5, close brackets, uh, take away uh, a quarter, brackets, x take away 14 like that, and I'm going to calculate that, I'm going to calculate that at 1. So when I put 1 in, I get negative uh, 0 0.59, so I get negative 0 0.59, and g of 2, hopefully, I get a positive now, so let's just put calculate 2, and I do, 0 0.41, so I get 0 0.41. And therefore, we can state it, therefore, since g, this function we defined here, is continuous, And there is a change of sign between 1 and 2. There is a root between 1 and 2. And uh, and what did it ask us to show? The intersection point of Q lies, and, and therefore, 1 is less than Q is less than 2, just like that. Okay, looking up here, um, show that Q is also a solution of the following equation. So, what we were trying to solve originally, so let's do part C now. Remember, I'm trying to solve this thing here. Okay, and it's asked me to show that Q is a solution of this here. So the logarithm part, the x is, is on its own and it's in the logarithm part as well. We obviously want to keep the x in the logarithm part. So the idea here seems to be to combine the other x's. So to i.e. to combine that x somehow with that x and make that the subject of the formula, leaving this alone. So we'll start off with the equation we're trying to solve. 2x subtract 3, natural logarithm of 2x add 5 uh, is equal to a quarter x take away 14. Okay, what I'm going to do is, let me just expand this bracket to start with. So 2x subtract 3, natural logarithm of 2x add 5 is going to be equal to a quarter x subtract 14 over 4, which is going to be 7 over 2, which is 3 and a half. Now let's combine all the x's loose, not inside the log. So let's combine these. So I'm going to take off a quarter x from both sides, and at the same time, I'm going to add... 3 natural logarithm of 2x to both sides, okay? So I'm going to say that 2x subtract a quarter x is going to be equal to 3 natural logarithm of 2x add 5 uh, take away 7 over 2, like that. Okay, now 2x take away a quarter x. Now this is 8x over 4, take away 1x over 4. So this is 7 over 4x is going to be equal to 3 natural logarithm of 2x add 5, take away 7 over 2. Now let's look up what we want in the question. We want x as the subject of the formula. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. 
So 7x would be equal to 12, natural logarithm of 2x add 5, I'd take away this multiplied by 4 would uh, be a 14. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 7. So x is going to be 12 over 7, natural logarithm of 2x add 5, take away 14 over 7, which is 2. So looking up here, um, that's exactly what I wanted in my um, answer. So q is the solution of that. Lastly, show that the iterative formula, which is just this, but just made into an iteration formula, starting with x0 is 1, um, to find the value of q to three significant figures, justify your accuracy of your answer. So five marks. So there's a lot to do here. So for part d, let's set up the iterative equation. So part d, we're going to start to say that x1 is equal to, uh, uh, xn add 1 even, is going to equal to 12 xn add 1 is going to be equal to 12 over 7, the natural logarithm of 2xn plus 5, take away 2. And we're starting with x0 is equal to 1.5. And we want to be right to three significant figures. So we want to get right to three significant figures, plus we want to justify. So there's marks to get right to three significant figures, and there's two marks to justify. Okay, so let's do this on the calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the calculator 1.5 equals. Now that stores the 1.5 in the answer function. Now I'm going to type this in my calculator. I'm going to copy this iterative formula, 12 over 7. Natural logarithm of 2. Now, not x, I'm going to put ants. So ants, because I want it to remember the previous answer, plus 5, close brackets, take away 2. Now, pressing equals now is substituting my answer into this. And then if I press equals again, it will substitute whatever the answer to this is back into this iterative formula. So if I press equals, I get this. So if I want to be right to um, three significant figures, I'm going to write out... Um, it, uh, a few times until uh, it stops moving to the third significant figure. So 1.56475. So I'm going to write x equals 1.56475, like that. Okay, and I could put a 6929 as well. I could put the 6929, no harm in doing that. Now press equals again. 1.5922876. So x, that was x1, x2 equals 1.59228764422872644, .5922876442, like that. What would x3 therefore be? 1.60385, so 1.60385, uh, 9406, 9406. Okay, so everything still changes, so we're going to have to keep going with this. Press equals again. 1.6087, so x4, 1.6087, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, so 2092, and again 1.61156, so x6 equals 1.61156638866886. Now you'll see here that this is the first time where um, it has stayed the same to three significant figures. Okay, 1.611, they're the same to three significant figures. So that is going to be our answer. Let's just check that on our calculator by continually pressing equals. If we do, you can see that 1.61 stays the same no matter how many times I press the equals. In fact, that gets you to the answer there. So the answer, um, the answer, and we're looking for the answer to um, find Q. So Q is going to be equal to 1.61 to three significant figures. Now we have to prove that is the answer. So what we do is we take Q, which is 1.61, and we 
and we go to its upper bound which is 1.615 and we go to its lower bound which is 1.605 and we check those answers into our change of sign formula which was the one that we used up here. We check it in our g of x. So g of 1.605 and g of 1.615. We check those and check for a change of sign. So get the calculator out again and go back up here to type in our g function. We did this before between 1 and 2 but now we've zoomed into a much closer answer. So we type in um, 2x take away 3 natural logarithm of 2 x add 5 we close brackets take away fraction quarter x take away 14 close bracket we calculate it at the following two answers so we calculate it at 1.605 and we get this a negative so 0 0.0073 so we get 0 0.0073 and a negative at that and we calculate it at 1.615 and we get a positive 0 0.00289 0 0.00289 and we can state g continuous and change of sign therefore q lies between q equals 1.61 to three significant figures and we're done